Okay, um, it's Saturday the 12th of February. Um, it's day 12 today of my um, LRD. <coughs> um, got to say, it's been a bit of a bit of a mixed bag. Um, yeah, um, I know I said I was going to log Friday, but I, I didn't yesterday. Um, been a bit of a mixed bag. Miss, miss some of my beard there when I've had a shave. Look, silly fucker. Let me get the razor back out. Um, yeah, it's been a been a mixed bag, really. Um, where are we? Not last night. I've, I've had food today, and I had food yesterday. Uh, I had some fish in that yesterday. Um, I've had some tuna today um, with some with a pitta. Um, not much else. It's not been too bad, but not last night. The night before, which would have been a Thursday night, so it would have been day ten. Um, sort of sitting here about seven o'clock in the evening, and hunger was like I'd, I'd been all right. I'd not really felt hungry at all, um, and I was on milk that day as well. Um, but hunger struck me like really hard um really really did i was i, I could actually i would say i was starving but i was hungry um i was very very hungry um let's put this phone down steady and then um yeah so that was um that was very strange that was a a strange feeling um but I felt good. I, I generally, I, I and I didn't eat. I, I made sure I didn't eat. I, I toughed it out and um, just stuck to the the milk that day. Um, yeah. Then, um, but then, funny, I went to bed that night and um, went on my machine on my BiPAP, and I don't know. I think where I was just felt so. Where I maybe was really empty. I felt really empty inside. Um, Went on my machine, went to bed about 11, 15, 11, 20. Was, was asleep probably in 10 minutes because I always am anyway once I put the mask on. <coughs> um, yeah, and uh, I was awake again just about an hour and 20 minutes later and I had trap wind. Um, I mean, I get a lot of wind trap anyway from my machine, but not normally that fast. And I can normally clear it within about 10 minutes. I, I, I got breathing techniques that I've sort of mastered and um to over the last three years or four years to to be able to clear the the the, the, the trap wind but um I can't believe I missed all that it's well because I didn't have a mirror to do it with and I was trying to do it on my bloody phone um yeah can't couldn't could not clear the the wind and I was awake for an hour and 30, hour and 40 minutes until I managed to settle again. Um, but as I say, in general, um, I felt good. I've not had, I've noticed the swelling in my legs as my red legs are still red um, from the knee down to the ankle, um, which I do suffer with. Um, it's all to do with my, my, my clots and stuff and, and just the general weight uh, issue. Um, but yeah, um, I've, and, but I used to really swell around my ankle of my of my feet, but um, I've noticed that that's not been so predominant, um, and I've also noticed that my breathing has been a lot better. Um, when I walk up the stairs, I'm, I'm I'm not. I mean, I was I was almost gasping for air twelve days ago um, when I was walking up the stairs, and obviously before that. Um, but that definitely feels better. Um, definitely feel like I've had a bit more energy. I've managed to feel a little bit more confident in myself, not to the point of going out for the day or whatever, but I've been into a couple of shops with Mandy this week. Um, I even managed to go into Tesco's, which I would normally just sit in the car, but walked into Tesco's, no problem with no crutches. Um... I only basically went in, had a quick look down the electronics aisle because I was looking for some headphones for hospital. Um, 
which they didn't have anyway, but Mandy's got me some today in HMV in Blue Water. But, um, yeah, but I mean, I only did that, and then I went and sat in Costa and had a uh, skinny decaf latte with a sweetener in it, which was okay. Um, yeah, uh, and, and just in general, I've, ju I've just felt okay, so... But I'm going to have something to eat later. I'm not quite sure what yet. I might just have some soup or something. Um, yeah, I think I'm probably just going to have some soup or something like that later. And then that's it. And then tomorrow, uh, I'm going to go and visit my mum tomorrow um, and my brother. Because I probably won't get to see them for two, three weeks maybe. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. Spend a bit of time with them. And then, uh, yeah, so tomorrow and Monday, I am going to smack into the milk and yoghurt for the last two days. Um, I My PCR was delivered today, which I did. I've now got to obviously wait 48 hours, so mm, fingers crossed on that one. That they don't find anything on that. Um, got to wait for my phone call between 3 and 5 on Monday for my admission time on Tuesday, um, feeling very, very, um, what's the right word? Uh, I wouldn't say worried, um, but I am 50 and going under general anaesthetic with my other health issues, um, the fact that I've got heart problem with in the family, obviously my dad, um, at the age of 58, dying from a heart attack, um, randomly. So very sort of, I suppose, apprehensive about going under. Um, just want to spend as much time with Mandy this weekend as I can, really. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't want to get sort of emotional about all that, but... That thought has obviously crossed my mind, which I think would have crossed anybody's mind, uh, as in regards to, you know, um, am I coming back? Um, but, you know, the the way tech is these days and the way you get looked after and stuff, you know, you know, hopefully I'm just being stupid thinking that shit. But uh, obviously it's part of. But, um, yes, excited, apprehensive, um, worried, not so much worried about surgery, um, more probably about recovery. Um, my body's not the greatest body to recover, um, but then I could end up being like a bit Wolverine-y and, and, and recovering really well. So it's all, it's 50-50, it is what it is, it's going to be what it is. Uh, just got to cross each bridge as you come to it. I suppose, um, yeah, so I would, um, the LRD's not been nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be, it, I mean, as I said on the last log, I think it was, um, I could probably eat um, some shit, I mean, it's Saturday night tonight, is normally our takeaway night, um, the girls have all been to Blue Water today, they've probably had a nice bit of food and and whatever, and then there's me going to have a bowl of soup for my dinner tonight, but that's all part of my change of lifestyle anyway, so, um, yeah, I mean, obviously once I'm recovered and we can go out and it will be nice to sort of chew and eat a bit of food again, obviously the right food, uh, so, oh, a bit of now, so yeah, uh, you know, all sort of a mixed bag, um, but a positive mixed bag as to the fact that, um, you know, everything's on track at the moment. As I say, waiting on the PCR, waiting on the confirmation from on Monday that they've got a bed for me. Um, that, that could be, so there's two stumbling blocks, possible stumbling blocks um, that could that could come, come up. Um, obviously, the, the Rona test and obviously... Are they going to have a bed for me when they've said, you know, that, that the possibility is if there's other emergency ops that need the space, then obviously you have to wait. Um, the fact that I've done the diet for two weeks, uh, which isn't a bad thing anyway, you know. <clears throat> I 
but I've not, as I say, I've still not weighed. Um, I weighed on the Thursday before the first, which the first was a was a Monday, so that I don't know, it was the twenty late twenty, so whatever it was. I've already said I'm wearing the logs anyway. Um, that was me. That was me weigh. So I'm just going to wait till to hospital to weigh anyway. Um, I spoke to my mum. Video called my mum a couple of days ago. She said it, she seemed felt like I'd lost a bit of weight in my face, but then I I had had my barnet cut, so um, maybe that that was what um, made her made her see that. Um, so yeah, that's that's where we're at. As I say, it's now Saturday, so Sunday. Monday, I should know what's actually going on, if it's going on, fingers crossed. Um, and then at some point Tuesday, I shall be getting my transport up to London, King's College, Denmark Hill, and getting into my uh, ward. But I mean, it'd be nice if I've got a side room, but if it's on the ward, it's on the ward, it's NHS, so you, you, know, you expect to be on the ward anyway. And then, uh, yeah, and then find out what, they'll obviously let you know what time um, surgery is on on um, Wednesday and what sort of time you'll be going down. Um, I think it's some of them teeth things. Huh? This tooth is just unreal. It's so come forward from my row of teeth and I know what it is. It's where I'm wearing my mask and it's pushing, it pushes, it's not over tight. But every night, and it's sitting like that, and it's gently, 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 and it's gently push that teeth right out of shape. So, and I, I sort of take a little bit of, it's probably the best bit of my body, is my teeth. The fact that I've still got them, right, they're not, they're not mint, they're a little bit stained and shit. But I did smoke for 30 odd years. I've always tried to keep them, keep them well. I've got, I've got none here at the back, but I've still got all the front railings. But, uh, yeah, so that's something I'm going to have to sort out. So, yeah. Uh, mm. So uh, what I'll do is I'll probably log again um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I may log Monday evening once I know what's what just to put it in a log so I know what times I'm going. If I don't log Monday, then I'll definitely try and make a point of logging Tuesday, maybe even when I before I go or when I get to the hospital. Um, I'll show you my, my, my five-star facilities that I'm going to have. Yeah, right. And then, uh, yeah, and, I, and, I, and I'll try and do, do a video, as I say, before I, I go on the slab. And uh, yeah, and then obviously once I'm obviously back in the land of the nod, uh, in the nod, and nod, back in the land of the living, then obviously I'll um, I'll do do another log then. So, but we should have some weights uh, Tuesday, and and we'll actually be able to see if the, the LRDs took any weight off. Or I've got a feeling it has. I, I, I'm not like expecting miracles from it. I've got a feeling it has just. Just for the the swelling thing, and, and I've been pissing a lot. I've been, I've been urinating, as they say, um, quite a lot. I mean, I, I do piss quite a lot anyway, but uh, a little bit more than normal. But then, when you start dieting, any diet, you you lose a lot of water retention anyway to start with, for the first four four weeks, whatever. So I put it down to that, but. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. So um, I'm going to leave it there because I, I ramble and then I end up going off track talking about my beard and my tooth and fucking whatnot. I even missed it there, and I? Look. Fuck's sake. No mirror in the fucking... No little mirror to, to sit and do. I need a big mirror on the wall and didn't fucking even think to check it, but I've definitely missed it under there. I have to get my razor down and give it a zzz, Give it a zzz off. So anyway, we'll leave it there. That's nearly 15 minutes of waffle from me. So um, have a good weekend. And uh, yeah, and I will log again a couple of days later.